Hi, welcome back to Community Hotline. My name is Monica Weitzel. We're here in Gresham at Metro East Community, Me uh, Community Media. Where are we? <laughs> yeah, I think that's where that, we're going. Is that it? Okay. <laughs> For our second segment tonight, we have with us the Gresham Sister City Association. There are several components of it. We're going to be talking about Ibitsu Japan and uh, an event that's going to be going on here in Gresham. And we have with us Tamiko uh, Takeuchi, and you are the co-chair of SCOSH which mm -hmm. is the event we're going to talk about. And Dennis Chapel, you are one of the team leaders. Yes. And we have uh, in kind of uh, brought both of you on board here and have done some work for Metro East as volunteers. So mm -hmm. it's good to see you again. Thanks. Yeah. So tell me, uh, who wants to tell me a little bit first? Maybe, uh, Tamika, you can tell me a little bit about the Gresham Sister City Association mm -hmm. to start out with. We just celebrated, celebrated 35 years with wow. Ebitsu Japan. And it started, uh, well, in the 70s, obviously, Henry Kato, who was a local gentleman, he had a friend named Harada, and this gentleman was the, a teacher from Ebutsu, but his father was the mayor of Sapporo, mm. and Sapporo had just joined up with Portland. As a sister and, city. Yes, and they happened. thought how cute it would be <laughs> if the two suburbs would get together. So 35 years ago, they did this. Our sister city has been active since then, there are times a little slower and other times a little faster, but we do um, several things. Number one, we have an exchange program because we have two Japanese programs in Gresham, Gresham High School and Reynolds High School, and the kids take Japanese language. Mm -hmm. So we host three kids in January from Japan, from Ebitsu, for a month. Then we have three of our kids go to Japan mm. for a month in June. That's great. Then That's we, a super experience it, for them, oh, isn't it? And they come back and they're so excited, of course, yeah. yes, and the cultural exchange is good. Then, of course, we have our um, Sudo Island, which is our Gresham Japanese Garden, which we're in the, trying to renovate. In fact, spring's coming, so if you can, come on out. It's really nice. So that's down at Main City Park Main City in Park. And then our third project started out very small last year called Skosh, a little Japanese. Last year, that was it. This year, it's Skosh, a little Japanese children's festival and cultural fair. Oh, well, it's expanded then. <gasps> Huge. So last year was the first year. What was going on last year at this event? Last year we actually started out, we were going to use it as a board meeting. So I was hoping to get five presenters and maybe 50 guests. Okay. We ended up going to Great Aggression Baptist Church and we had 25 presenters and over 100 volunteers. Wow. It and was, a few guests. And yeah. it, <laughs> yes, and a ton of guests. So then this year we decided that we would move to a, a site that we could have it on Saturday. Okay. So on May 11th, from 10 to 3 at Mount Hood Community College, we put together a program with the Mount Hood Community College Japanese Club. Oh, And they're doing perfect. the children's program, and we as Gresham Sister City, Ebutsu Japan, will do the cultural part. Oh, that's great. So what, what do you expect to get out of this? What, what is the, the, the whole point of having this yeah. festival? Obviously, it's not a board meeting anymore. No. <laughs> my main... Thing. Um, I'm a, I tell everyone I'm a born-again Japanese. <laughs> I was raised totally in a white society and mm -hmm. didn't do much as far as Japanese was concerned because the internment had happened and my folks oh. didn't want us labeled Japanese. I mean, duh, big surprise. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know. but it wasn't something that was celebrated no. in your And family. so no was... Japanese language classes or anything like oh, that were wow. happening anymore. So I went through, and it wasn't until I graduated actually and started working, and my dad I was afraid he wouldn't have any Japanese friends when my mom passed away. So I took him to the Oregon Buddhist Temple uh -huh. and figured, found out that he was very well respected in the community, had done a lot. And then I decided I better figure out the fact that I'm not Tomiko Smith, you know, yeah, that I yeah, actually had a yeah. little difference. And so then I started studying the culture and I wanted to share it with people in, in the East County. Sure. And sure. that's how it all started. It was just wanting to mm -hmm. share. A I little bit of our, right. a scosh. A scosh means a little. Uh, a, yeah, little. a little. And yeah. so we started out with just, you know, very, very little going on. I think that's great, though. And I think yeah. it's wonderful that you're embracing your heritage now because mm -hmm. it's so sad to lose mm -hmm. that. And mm -hmm. especially because of the awful circumstances that, that preceded that. So I'm glad to see yes, you're doing yes, that, sharing yes. it with the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So um, this year, um, Dennis, you're, you're on the committee, you're a teacher. Uh, what, what have yes, you been working on? Yes, I'm kind on? of a rookie here in, <laughs> in the association. I started out, well, what happened was uh, I read a little article in the Gresham paper that they put out uh, talking about this garden and how it was going to be renovated. And it was the Japanese, the Japanese garden. The Japanese garden. Right, and, which yeah. was sort of under, um, 
weeds and brambles right. and was sort of not kept up and mm -hmm. had that gorgeous. It was a nice stuff. camping area. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, it had that lovely bridge there. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and I think the problem was the, the original people that built it uh, couldn't stick around to maintain it over right. the long haul. So nobody and was so, working on yeah, it Yeah, and they're so intensive. But anyway, um, I called Tomiko and I said, you know, that sounds, I've been to Japan a couple of times ah. and I really like gardening. And I said, maybe I can help out. So I went over and uh, Jim Card, who was the landscape designer who was leading this, was there and told me go. And I hauled a few rocks around and I said, hmm, I'm getting kind of old at making this <laughs> Calling stuff. Ro There's so some big rocks. Jim said, you want to take some there. pictures? We want some before and after pictures. So I started doing that and then talking to Tomiko and found we were very close. And when we grew up, and, uh, she went to Madison, I went to Park Rose. Oh, and, yeah. And uh, yeah, so, but anyway, uh, so she plugged me in here to get my producer's uh, credentials. This is how and, you became one of our volunteers here. She says we're doing Skosh and we want to cover it. And so. And so you videotaped the event last year. We got year. a crew together and videotaped it. Yeah. Good job. Good job. And See a little plug to... for Metro East there too. Yeah. Oh. So we're and the do... classes were fabulous. Oh yes. Yes. I'm in the remedial I... track, so I have, <laughs> to, <laughs> I have yeah. to keep taking them. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at yeah. now. We're going to do it again this year and hopefully put some some uh, something together and depending on you know what we when we review it and see what's going to work we may combine uh, both events um, parts of both events and put by some both pieces. events you mean the, Bo the, the both years I'm oh okay okay yeah, oh, I, yeah. I see yeah. I see so what um, the the college is doing the children's part of it mm -hmm. what what exactly can people expect at that do you know what they have in mind or have you heard yet is that all a big secret well, and they have to I find think out when you go there? Someone else was supposed to be here to talk about that, right? <laughs> and I, uh, and okay. I didn't get the word. <laughs> okay. So it'll be a surprise. It, yes. It, there's a real nice area, so it'll be um, near the student union, mm -hmm. and then the whole area in the back, which is like a park. Okay. And uh, they'll be doing origami and paper puppets. Let's see if she knows Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. so I'm not sure everything. Japanese arts and crafts. Yes, yes. Japanese arts and yes. crafts. And all of yeah. it will be led by the students in the Japanese club. Oh, that's great. That's it is. Great. It really is. We have some pictures, I think, from last year's event. Mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. we could take a look at those and you can mm -hmm. tell us what, what we're looking at and what some sure. of the things that you did last year. Nope, no? Okay. Well, that's a good one. Okay. <laughs> then um, tell me a little bit about the, the cultural affairs part of it. Pretty much it's, um, we have the, all the regular stuff, mm -hmm. you know, bonsai, tea, ceremony, kibana. Uh, big one, of course, is Portland Taiko will be coming, and they're huge. That's the drum, drum mm -hmm. unit, right? Mm -hmm. They okay. actually started in Portland many years ago, and the first group that began actually made their own drums. Oh, wow. I mean, and so this They're group very is, well known. They're very well known, and now, of course, they even have not just the artistic director in Michelle Fuji, but also they have a dance court, dance teacher, and he's actually a folk dance teacher, and mm -hmm. was trained in Japan, wow. Toru Watanabe. And so we're, oh, very humbled oh, to have them come. And then Mitsuki Daizai, who plays the koto, which is a 13-string instrument. Usually we sit on our knees on the floor. Do you play it? I took lessons with her, again, pretty remedial, but um, <laughs> uh, I, can remedial play, lessons. I can play Mickey Mouse Club because she <laughs> did all American music with me because really? I'm not, yes. And so we have her, but a few different things we have. We do have, yes, M-I-C-K-E-Y-M-O-U-S-E. I love it. Uh, we have a, a lady who's yeah. going to do Japanese feng shui architectural oh. medicine in American homes. Oh, that's, very that's going to be popular. Then we do have Probably. also um, uh, two ladies are going to do what we call onigiri, or rice balls, rice sandwiches. And of course, oh, we'll do the yeah. famous spam musubi which Hawaiians eat like yes, they mother's do. milk. Yes, yes, they do. They love and their then, spam uh, and their rice. Yeah, rice, yep. we'll have a, a really large area this year on the internment of the Japanese oh, American good. because our people are getting older and, and they not, are... They, people don't know That's about right, it. Mm -hmm. and they're standing up. So first we have Christina McMorris, who is a best-selling author, okay. and she's written um, Letters from Home in Bridges, Bridge of Scarlet Leaves, and it's about fictional internment people. She'll be there. But based on? Based on fact, on, yeah. Yes. And then historical fiction. Right, okay. And then like she will sell books. books. And then we have... And those books are sort of geared toward um, young adults, is that yes, right? Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. And they're very readable, very yes. readable. I had to get them in big print, but they're very readable. <laughs> <laughs> and then um, 
John Nakata and Henry Sakamoto, who are local people, will speak about their story. John is from California, so his experience was much different. And then we have a group of men who were in Minidoka internment camp, and they'll do a discussion group. And where was that located? And that yeah. was in Idaho, in over Idaho. by Jerome. Okay. And then we have a girls group, and this took me, Dennis can laugh, because it took me until day before yesterday to even get one woman to come up. Really? And so we have the um, one woman who was a senior in high school. She did teaching in the camps. We have a lady oh, wow. who actually chose to go out of the camp and go to the farm labor uh -huh. uh, farms and things like that. So, so this she way, was in the internment. Yes, she was living there. but okay. she went to the she camp instead, so she didn't have to stay in the internment. Oh. Our biggest coup is that we have a computer area that will plug in to the Dencho Project, which is out of Seattle, and they have interviewed over 2,000, about 1,500 to 2,000 of the Japanese Americans who were interned oh, and wow. it's archived. So wow. you can go in and say, Thomas Takuchi, my dad, uh -huh. and if his oral history is there, it'll come up and you can view it. Oh, that's it's, great. That that's so great. important to, yeah. to not yeah. lose all that history, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Tomiko is such an energizer bunny. She's got all this stuff <laughs> in her head. And you know, when we talk, she's going a mile a minute. And she's got this program lined up. It's much larger than last year. There's, uh, so many more things it going is, on, yeah. and it's kind of spread out a larger venue at Mount Hood. So Good. it's it's. it's <laughs> so what are you looking forward to most, Dennis? What am I looking forward to? <laughs> well, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing there, actually. So are uh, you going to have somebody taking pictures this year? Yeah. And, and yeah. Well, I'll, actually, I will. I hope to take a lot of still pictures, yeah. and we'll have yeah. a crew there shooting video. Good. From Good. Amy. Uh, Good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Good. So. Um, yeah. Good. It's, That's it's wonderful. So be, we can look forward, for those who are not fortunate enough to be able to attend, they can watch yeah. on the Metro East channels and sure. find out what they right. missed and plan for next year. Right. And yeah. then he's got a lot of stage background, so um, I'm. That's another area where I'm remedial. Man, I'm remedial in a lot of stuff. You know, gotta give yourself credit, Amigo. You're good at <laughs> yeah. a whole lot of stuff. But he had to walk me through because I don't understand mics and things. So he understands that. So he's doing videoing. He's doing the still photos, and he'll be in charge of the theater and keeping. Oh, but he doesn't yeah. know what he's going to be doing. Yeah, while but he's there. not sure. Yeah, it doesn't sound like much of anything, Dennis. It's. Uh, <laughs> hey, but it's better than moving Flying boulders, isn't it? Pants. Yes, <laughs> it is better than moving boulders. Yeah, it is. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he can see the big picture, so he can see kind of what we have going. And the areas are huge. We have the main theater, and then there'll be some artist displays in the front. We have potters, and we have um, Setsuko Gion, who does that sumi dagashi, which is ink marbling, sumi ink marbling. And she's also going to do a session. Explain that to me, sumi ink marbling. She I takes the sumi means. ink and puts it in water. Then she uses a resin that splits it to make a design. Uh -huh. Then she puts her paper down, lifts it up, and then she'll write in sumie and then draw in. Wow. I mean, it's lovely. It's oh, just wow. And she's going to be demonstrating that this year? That would yes. be really nice. So we year have she had her work, but she right. didn't actually do the demonstration. We have four classrooms, and there will be five sessions. So we have haiku, which is right. uh, the poetry. We have bonsai, yes. yes. We have she's going to do sumi nagashi. We also have calligraphy, and then we have, of course, cooking. And so we have the sushi and this type of thing. I'd and be then a taster. Gracie, Gracie <laughs> Chacal will do tea ceremony again. Tea ceremony. She'll do three oh, sessions, and great. she's oh, and she's just amazing, you know. And then we have that huge display room, and in that we'll have, you name it. And basically, we're going to have bunka, which is um, embroidery. Mm -hmm. And the gal who teaches in Seattle is coming down to do a demonstration, and also to show some of her work. We have 3D origami. Jean Takashima does 3D origami. She has this it's ship. It's all origami. Well, I it is. I thought it was. I mean, yeah, that's it's all folded, and mm -hmm. it's a ship like this. And she has these cranes. Oh, wow. <laughs> and they're all done with little cranes that she folded and then put together. <laughs> I don't know how she does. So they they're all little cranes, but they make it into a ship? Oh, wow. It's just oh, the most yeah. amazing. <laughs> and then she has these teeny little turtles. And I'm not showing off my green nail polish. I like them, though. <laughs> Your green green turtle nails. <laughs> That's oh. great. Yeah. She makes these little turtles. And they've got little teeny cranes that go together, or little teeny origamis that oh, go together cute. and make it. Yeah. Oh, and so cute. we have that. And then uh, one of the gals, uh, Karen Schreich, is going to bring her mom's kimono. She has five, one being mm. a wedding kimono. Oh, and so beautiful. they'll be on display. What wonderful things. There's so much beauty in the Japanese mm -hmm. culture. The, the, the tea ceremonies, mm -hmm. the writing, the, you know, it, Mm -hmm, it's just, um, mm -hmm. it's very gracious, gracious and graceful. Mm -hmm. That's how I kind of think of it. That's wonderful. Yeah. I think that sounds yeah. like Yeah, And a, then for Lil Fen, we have Jose Spoonberger, who
who is... That doesn't sound Japanese. Jose Spoonberger. He's, he's actually... I don't that's, think he looks Japanese either. No, and he does clowning, actually. But yeah. he took Koto with myself, with Mitsuki. So he's got about three... Yeah. He's got about five Kotos, but he's bringing, like, three of his Kotos. One is a Chinese one, and he'll actually let everyone play oh, and wow. try it. <laughs> that's you know, great. A little hands-on. Yes, yeah, so a little hands-on. Then we have a guy who will be there. The, it's actually a, a go group. Go being that board game with the white and black pebbles. Oh, yeah. I I've never, never Oh, I've never figured that out. But I like to put them in pretty designs. <laughs> <laughs> if and it makes you happy to be going, right. I'm okay with and that. Then Donna Yamashita Hanlon is going to be doing Hanafuda, which is a card game that has all these pictures. And I'm not certain how you do it. It's a little bit... But mm -hmm. she'll be teaching. <laughs> no, yeah, but you can sit there and she'll teach you, and then you'll be able to play some. Oh, so there's things like that cards. happening. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. Wow. And then we will have our exchange students. So the two girls who went last year to Japan, oh, they'll be there to talk and about. And the three it. families that we're hosting this year, and the three kids who are going in the mm. future, this next. This will be a good. Uh, will be there this will too. Good introduction to them. Right. Right. So there's a variety expect. of things. So yeah. the people, so the kids that went last year, there were two kids that went last year. Yes. And and have you talked to them? Have we you... did. In fact, we put a display together because we're really looking for help on funding. Uh, <laughs> because these kids. That was a hint, <laughs> folks. Seven. Yeah. The, the, right now, the airfare is seventeen hundred dollars, and they do have Ooh, to. Ooh, that's a lot. Yeah. Of money. So we're trying to figure out. So we did go to a, the Optimus Club, and they did a presentation. It was fabulous. The one gal, uh, Victoria, actually came in her uniform that they gave her. She went to a private school. Oh, so really? she had her display and her uniform looked so cute and then a PowerPoint. Nice. And then Ashley who went also didn't have a uniform but she made her display board. She was an exchange student plus she was a host person. Oh, okay. So, so she, she had her display with both, both oh, parts. Oh, that's great. And they're ready to go put the show on the road they said. Nice. So they'll be will they have that with them, and they'll yes. have their PowerPoint, and have the yes. display board, and all yes. that. Yes. Yeah. Good. And then good. the other three uh, that are going to be going are doing some really neat things. There, um, we're going to have a Burgerville night, May eighth, I believe it is, and the Gresham Burgerville will assign a percentage of whatever money they make that night that will go to the three kids going to Ibbotsu. Good. Good. Burgerville's great about yeah. great. That's, that kind of I was. I am just They're amazed really at the community. That. Thank you, community. I'm just amazed. It's not wonderful. You know, we're, we've been given so much, and we um, are looking for. We have. A, we'll probably have about 200 volunteers. So That's we're trying to, and we have no money for food. I didn't think of getting food, just honorariums and things. So we went around, and Safeway's been very generous. Sherry's, oh my gosh, and Jazzy Bagel, thank you a million times. <laughs> um, right. So we're yeah. looking for some fruits and vegetables and things too, you know, yeah. so we can feed yeah, these people. Yeah. But yeah, but the community has been just oh, absolutely marvelous. Wonderful. And if people are interested in making any kind of a donation, monetary or, or, or otherwise, yes. um, but monetary is always good. Yes. Then oh, yes. Um, go to the Sister City uh, website. Mm -hmm. Is that the mm -hmm. best way to go? Okay. Mm -hmm. And are you still in need of volunteers, or are you pretty good on volunteers now? We can always use volunteers. Yeah, yeah. okay. And on, if you see a Scotch poster, anything away, I can't even give you the, oh, the Scotch poster has the um, email, the Gmail I think address. we've got the Scotch poster, so we'll put that up on the, on the camera. But, um, but yeah, it, it, but you can go to the website and probably find yes, out all the website. details. Yeah. So yes. the Scotch is spelled S-K-O-S-H. There we go, is right there. There it is, and there's a website on the bottom. Okay. Yes. She'll do it. No, who can you call it? Okay. It'll, can it'll you be. See it? You can't see it there, but we'll. Um, it'll be on the website. So we'll go to the go to your website, and we'll be. And we'll have that up on the screen at the end yeah. of the show. Um, yeah. Well, Gresham we, Sister City Association dot org or net. Okay. Good. That's going to be a fun event. It is going to be. So May eleventh, which is a Saturday from ten a.m. to three p.m. at Mount Hood Community right. College, and mm -hmm. it's free. It is Which free. is the best price ever. That's right. right. The only thing is that um, uh, I believe Bamboo Grove is going to cater the food, and that okay. would be, but. Be a, yeah. Well, it's fair enough. I mean, <laughs> but I everything you're, else, you're getting I mean, a whole lot for, a whole, oh, for nothing. Portland so, Tyco, I mean, yeah, that's a big deal. check out them online, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a big deal. Right. Well, thank you, both of you, for being on here. As a rookie, I think you're doing quite well, Dennis. Um, thank you, Monica. <laughs> <laughs> it's trying awesome. to keep up with her. I, something I know. Else. You're right. She's an energizer bunny. It's always but, great to see you, Tomiko. So oh, um, look forward. Hopefully, I'll be able to, to attend and see you there. That sounds like a fabulous event. And I'm so glad that last year exceeded your expectations this year. I hope it does the same. I know. If it does, we might have all of uh, East County there. Woohoo! <laughs> all right. Well, the second annual. It sounds like it's on its way to, to being a, a regular annual. Thing. Oh. Okay. Yeah.
I know, you oh. need to rest up in between. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching Community Hotline tonight. My name is Monica Weitzel. I hope you enjoyed tonight's show, and uh, I hope to see you again next week. Thanks for watching.